Hello everyone, I'm David Germain. Uh, I'm Associate Director at the Institute and I'm gonna to talk to you today about transitions uh, that are just and how we're going about doing that in our research. About 18 months ago we started uh, a, uh, we, we signed an MOU with the United Nations Economic Council in uh, on Europe, uh, the UNECE, working with the Sustainable Energy Division where uh, we thought originally we were gonna do some scenario work on pathways, but we ended up uh, helping the Sustainable Energy Division try and figure out how to convert concepts of uh, transforming in infrastructure. Uh, most of the infrastructure in Europe is fine, except for the Eastern European parts of, of Europe, and they really need a lot of investment and support in order to transform their energy infrastructure. Their energy infrastructure um, is mostly coal, and so we found ourselves in a place where we, go, we were starting to help them figure out how you go about doing a real transition in coal. Well, under the, the uh, uh, United Nations uh, Sustainability Goals, the focus is on really a just transition and trying to address as many of those goals as possible, which leads me to the first slide. This, this is a picture of what we put together in terms of working with the UN to help them figure out all of the different elements that go into uh, creating a just transition and driving and accelerating the migration out of coal and into other energy resources. Uh, very briefly, you have to integrate um, technology and innovation to drive transformation in the use of, of uh, energy assets. There are legal, regulatory, and policy issues that are huge, that have huge implications. Finance, investment, and value creation are critical, and economic development and um, community development are really critical as well. And all of those have to be orchestrated in a way where they work together, and they begin to inform each other. And as they inform each other, all of these sort of outer rings of different aspects of, of the regional or local area in which you're trying to deal with, say, a coal plant and its closure all of these things really need to be addressed to achieve a just transition. But in addition to that, you're not really gonna get very far in Eastern Europe if you don't address those kinds of things. So that was, uh, that was kind of what we did. To our surprise, the uh, uh, Sustainable Energy Division said, well, we've had these concepts, but we haven't really been able to figure out how to actually make them work. So they started shopping this, and I can't believe it, but they really liked it. So we ended up spending a whole morning at the Sustainable Energy Conference in Geneva that was running in parallel with the UN uh, Climate Week, where we spent almost a, a whole of the morning going through this and talking about how you make, we make this happen. We had representatives from Germany and other places who are trying to do aspects of this. So that's where we are, and we're trying to head forward and try and do a pilot project now in Poland with trying to make this happen. To make this happen, this is kind of a, a Rorschach experience for you. This is kind of the scope of what you have to think through and manage in order to execute a, a just transition around coal. This is a generic supply chain for what a typical coal power plant might uh, in, in have it in its uh, sort of radius. Uh, in Eastern Europe in particular, local communities are very much integrated into power plants because the power plants are built with the communities around them. So. Uh, the usual argument is, well, we can't close this plant because we'll destroy the community. So in order to deal with the community problem, you really have to look at the supply chain because every, play, every node along the supply chain here are people. It's not just that there are events and contracts that have to be done. There are people that have to be uh, moved forward into the future. And I could talk about this forever, but I've run out of time. 